yo, he's nice with it, right? Yeah, yeah, finally got around to finishing this guy. Man, I've been doing little tweaks here and there, but this, this I think is the final product. And actually, I had left a couple of pieces at home when I was showing y'all the prototype. And uh, yeah, finally got around to incorporating everything except for this. This is the body of um, Crash Bar. But look, this is how, okay, look, I'm just going to show you. This is how I ghetto rigged it to be like, hey, it does kind of fit. Um, I had that in there. And I made this like this kind of weird, like cobbled together engine thrown on the back or something. Uh, I actually don't think it looks that great. But uh, if you wanted to be a completionist, you could be like, at the same time, it, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. You know what I mean? That's kind of cool. But uh, well, let me just remove it for now. But uh, yeah, so whatever. Say what you want. It does use 100% or it doesn't. doesn't really matter. All that does matter is that this guy is sick with it. Sick with it and sick with it as well. Man, he's super duper cool. I was very, very pleased when I was able to kind of like finalize everything. Um, I kind of reoriented how some of the arm mechanisms work, how uh, the, the, the back part how this part like like looks over here because actually i had left these bits at home and this kind of cleans everything up to some extent and so whoo all right i gotta calm down i gotta calm down because i could feel myself uh starting to slip over my words getting too excited um but yeah greetings to you salutations fellow traveler through the internet yeah and hello hello from the other side of tv land what's up what's up what's up what's up and uh so welcome or welcome back uh and if this is your first time joining me hey joining me or joining us actually because the squad's all here i just want to say welcome this is a super duper safe place you're welcome here as long as you're not trying to hurt no one and um yeah as long as you're a fan of transformers fan modes and i don't know you like creative things and art let's go baby this is the place this is the place and um in this video you know we're going to talk about this guy wax poetic fawn over him talk about the inspiration and we're going to go over the um uh, the tutorial. Normally, I'm supposed to say things at the beginning of the video. Uh, at least that's what's been instructed to me by my YouTube advisor. But I always forget. And uh, it is what it is, right? Yeah. Maybe I'll remember next time. Yeah. So let me, um, in terms of the inspiration. Yeah. So if you follow the channel, you may uh, you may remember that I shared a build by this cat named G0XX um, off of IG. Yeah. And so he had created this thing. And uh, you need a male to male connector to basically uh, traverse this this uh, connection point. And he he had used a third party adapter with the knee, which I'm super duper jealous over. I would love to have a five milli connector that has like a hinge on it. So my guess is that dude's out of Asia because, you know, Asia got all that stuff, dude, Japan, China, Korea, they got all that stuff. And so, um, but yeah, in place of that particular piece, we had originally used the prowl guns because on the back, um, there's the male to male converter. But here, with Crash Bar, yo, we don't need any of those Prowl guns. We're making it happen just with the Junkions themselves. And so, yeah, I knew that little orange bit was going to be super duper important. And there's three points. There's three pegs actually protruding from that. I was actually thinking maybe they should have made those five millimeter as well to see what else you could do. But um, yeah, yeah, who knows? Who knows? It's gravy. It's gravy. And so this build was originally done by him. Not this build per se. Um, his was just a... Volcanicus and two scrap hooks. Yeah, and you can do some amazing things. Actually, arguably his his build is better than this. Um, and of course, he's he's a creator. He he's the father or, or mother. I don't know, but he's the creator of this. So all props to that gentleman or lady. I don't know. I'm assuming he's a dude because you know most cats who are, who are doing this stuff are dudes. And so, um, yeah. yeah. Dude, so I was gonna say really quick before I break this down. That's a common thing, yo, is like that I use that, that I say regularly is like, yeah, you know, all these hip cats and dogs, I used to, like, you know, a couple of cats I knew way back in the day, and it's just common vernacular that I like to use. But you know, the folks in the office who talk with me, like, I don't know. I, I either they they like how that sounds or something, but dude, it's rubbed off on them. Cause now there'll be hella folks that'd be talking to me, it's like, yeah, a couple of cats that I knew way back, and they'll kind of look at me. To be like, Ugh, did that sound dumb? <laughs> you know, but I'll just like, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. I was like, yeah, for sure, dude. I was like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> But yeah, I always like that phrase. Yeah, a couple of cats I knew way back. Hip cats and dogs. And um, I don't know. That's just generally how I talk. Man, if y'all heard me talk outside the scope of this video, I sound a little different. 
but can't really go into that. If one of y'all ever meet me at a con and I'm just talking normal, <laughs> you'll be like, whoa, you sound different or you talk different. You know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, anyway, anyway, so let's talk about this guy. Yeah, like I said, G Xerox X, G Xerox 2. Sorry, I'm messing up his name. Um, yeah, his build was the inspiration that I kind of kept on building on. And so down over here, these are the scrap hook torsos. They're connected using the orange bit from Crash Bar. And on the bottom, you just have each, each one one of a scrap hook's legs. On the tires, we have the Chevron, the exhaust plugged in to provide the heel stabilization. And then we have the toe accessory plugged in out to outside. And that's really just to kind of um, accentuate this pyramid, this triangle motif that we have going, just kind of bulking him out. Because here, let me, let me kind of show you the angles. We have this angle. We have that angle. We have this angle. We have that, this, 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 this. So there's a lot of lines that we're playing with right now. Uh, very, very intentionally, you know. And so, um, like, I dig it. So, for instance, I like look at this. The curvature of this going down this way. The contour of the chevrons, the exhaust follows that. You feel me? You feel me? That's very, very intentionally done on my side uh, because I like that. I think it looks nice. And so there's little things, you know, like the little tires over here, the, all these little things that I've done because I don't know, that's just what I like to do, man. That's just what I like to do. So, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I just explained what this is. Um, on the top, to create the shoulders, these are the saddlebags that come with um, Crash Bar, right? Very, very versatile. So many different points of connections, male, female pet or male pegs, female ports, like all of that stuff. Um, and it's just a really, really unique piece that I feel like is going to be utilized for some type of greater purpose, perhaps in the future um, that Hasbro cannot share with us at the moment. I mean, I'm, I'm ready to be surprised and I'm ready to be delighted. And so, um, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, <laughs> um, all right. So, uh, yeah, like I said, these are the saddlebags. Those become the shoulders and then connected to the shoulders is, um, you know what? I'm just going to take this off right now. What's really cool is, so this is connected like this, right? And because it's connected on this hinge, this is the strongest, tightest hinge on a scrap hook. We can use it to basically, um, you know, give tons of range of motion. This will spin on that right here. So it can go back and forth and it can go outside as well. That's really neat. That's really neat. And so let me move them to the side so you, you can see how um, this arm is made. It looks really complicated and uh, there is some complexity. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie to y'all. NGL. Um, <laughs> all right. This is the easiest component on the bottom. This is just a crash bar, to, uh, the front of the motorcycle, and the other side uses the back of the motorcycle, okay? What's well, connecting this, because this is obviously the scrap hook foot, right? Like, normally it would just look like that in a vacuum, right? What's well, connecting that is crash bar's arm. So I got to show you how it's done. So remember, this plugs into the shoulder. This is going to be the, 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 the shoulder um, extension. Then down over here, we have the crash bar arm, and uh, oh man, the fit is really tight, and I've stressed this toy, but it's all good, baby. We just plug that in there, incredibly tight fit. Um, on the back, I've just plugged in the other crash bar or uh, scrap hook arm, and I actually think it looks really cool just kind of next to this. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is giving me an idea for a build. Hmm. Hmm. I won't spoil it now, but um, anyway, so yeah, so that's over there and uh, without it, it would look fine, but you would see this part and I think actually this just kind of closes that all up nicely and I dig that. I dig that a lot. So you have that over here and then this peg, you kind of uh, lever down and then you just get, get that plug in there and that's the arm. That's the arm. Let me show you the other side, Mr. Arm Anderson. <laughs> Y'all know Arn Anderson? Who knows Arn Anderson without looking it up? Arn Anderson, one of the four horsemen, and when he went to WWE, he was part of the Brain Busters with Telly Savalas. No, not Telly Savalas. That was Kojak. <laughs> it was somebody like Teddy Savalas. 
I don't now I'm forgetting the other guy's name. It was Arn Anderson and I don't know, dude. These gentlemen are uber duper duper old right now. I'm not gonna mention them. <laughs> Stop talking about them right now. Um what did I just forget? Oh, oh. Okay, so I ended up pulling out the saddlebag. I was like, dude, why do these look different? Um the saddlebag's important because yeah, not only does it connect, but at the top over here, that's where you're plugging in the other arm. Right? We have two sets of arms because oh, sorry about that. Because we have two scrap hooks and um hmm? Oh no 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 this is for the <laughs> I was just like oh but I, I forgot that this is for this. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that goes right there. And then we just bend that down. And now that looks kind of like unsightly. And that's where this comes in. Like, ooh, Christian Bale face. You know, the, the satisfi satisfied Sigma face. Like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what that's supposed to be. <laughs> oh, my gosh, dude. The internet is a weird place, man. I mean, yeah, it's a digital library. But it's also like this weird digital playground and um, it's interesting. Never before in the history of mankind have we been able to share our respective uh, reflections and perceptions and also creative, uh, creative endeavors and stuff, you know. So no one really knows the effect of uh, what the Internet is having right now. I mean, we'll see it later on when we can reflect back on it. But um yeah, it's a kooky time. It's a kooky time. Oh, no, he's blurry. How long has he been like that? You guys, you guys, I thought you said you're going to call me. Timbo, I thought you said you were going to page me. No, I'm just kidding, dude. Page. <laughs> page me. Oh, my Lord, dude. Um, <laughs> Pagers. <laughs> All right. Thought you were gonna message me on your BlackBerry or the Palm Pilot. <laughs> anyway, there we go, kids. There we go, class. Yeah, all put together. Oh, and if you want to know how this torso goes on, um, I just basically flip one of the shoulder bits out. So this this is on a hinge. You move it out, and uh, wait a minute. Yeah, well, you only keep one out, and I think I ah, forget. It's like that, and then you just plug that in, and you just kind of bend that. I think that's what I did. I think I feel like I feel like it looked cooler earlier, right? Still looks okay, but also still looks whack too. I don't know. Two things at once. Two things at once. Okay, all right, friends. I'm gonna go home now, and I'm gonna go hang out with my lovely wife and have some lovely food and. Um, I'll catch y'all again another time, okay? Salutations. Adios. Bye.